silence on judiciary miscarriage. Invitation to anarchy, military takeover, youth group wants presidency, not the news in full. A youth group or youth reoriented initiative, AYRIN, has shaded President Bola Ahmed Tinibu for his silence over what it termed, termed confusion and miscarriage of justice by the Nigeria judiciary warning that his silence may be an invitation to anarchy which may possibly lead to military intervention in the political space. The group warned President Tinibu to ask a matter of urgency called the judiciary to order through the Chief Justice of Nigeria saying annihilation of the opposition parties, victory through bias and provocative judgment may rule the nascent democracy being enjoying in the country. It warned that the president should pay attention to the judicial miscarriage going on going on in the country, saying this may lead to anarchy which God forbid may lead to military takeover of the affairs of the country. The group in a statement issued on Thursday and signed by its spokesperson Kila Muwai Batmore said the Court of Appeal in its three judgment in the last couple of days concerning Zafara Plateau and Kanu State governorship election has shown that it is desperate to destroy democracy. The manner of obtaining the decision of the people of Zafara Plateau and Kanu in the last election by using technicality is unacceptable. Three judges of the Court of Appeal cannot overturn the decision of millions of residents of those states who came out in sunshine and rainfall to carry out their civic duties. The confusion in the judgment of Kanu State is most alarming. The confusion in the Court of Appeal has caused by the reading a different judgment and put another judgment in true certified copy of judgment is on or rather is an unpardonable miscarriage of justice. How can a court give two judgments in the same case and victory to the two parties in a case? The only conclusion that can be drawn from the judicial debacle in Kanu State is that the average reasonable person can only conclude that the Court of Appeal changed the judgment after it had concluded the aspiration or rather deliberations on the matter and then mistakenly left the original conclusion during the cutting and passing process. President Tinibu should be shaking in his responsibility if he decide to be silent in this kind of precarious situation. Many great Nigeria dead and alive fought for this democracy and we should not allow the judiciary to truncate our heart our hard in democracy. Okay. We we are calling on the president, eminent members of the bench, both retired and serving and above to be interested in what happened that we have the kind of scenario presented in the in the CTC of the judgment of the appeal court. This is not just a mistake that can be merely corrected by the Court of Appeal as it does not fall within the habit of the slip rule where the court can record the document and correct an error. Such error that can be corrected must be so obvious that their correction cannot generate any controversy regarding the judgment or decision of the court. Such error must be of the be of such nature that their correction would not change the substance of the judgment or 
utter the clear intention of the court. Okay, what we have in the case of canon judgment cannot be typographical error as claimed by the court registrar. A situation where a cost was awarded can be a typo. Typographical error. Something must be done to reform our judiciary, group said in the statement. Okay. Here for my listeners, I will be your take on the issue. At hand, silent on judicial miscarriage, invitation to anarchy, military takeover, youth group, once presidency. Please react to that. Device. You do so believe, do justice to every. Of your reactions, with the various opinion, the already popping in from the comment section. The first one is from the person of Awa Musa. He says, President would not like to intervene or call them to order as he largely benefited from the ill system. Okay, they're from the courage, say, which military the hungry ones divided along regular religious and ethnic lines okay there from abdullahi sabu you see military takeover is a long over nigeria can never get better under apc never 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 the military should do the needful before help from above would come and and sincerely they knows what to do okay there from Tayo, Osha, you see, the Nigeria system is getting too bad. Don't be smart, you know. So I believe God Almighty will take over Nigeria, my country. Things are getting worse every day. Look at Nigeria economy, hunger everywhere. It's only God if you can, in fact, be able to have a three square meal a day full of. Balance diet, I believe. Hmm. You have to thank God. Yes, so thank God for His mercy, for His faithfulness. Think of this now. We are wrapping it. Please endeavor to subscribe to this channel and also ensure that you share the very news to social media platforms. As you do so, believe in Almighty God. We do the very need for your life. Bye bye.